hello and welcome to the channel today in this tutorial we'll design this piece here in FreeCAD and we'll use these dimensions here to create the model so first here we create a link file and we change to part design workbench now we create body and go to additive features and here we select uh, the div box okay and next what to do is to change the parameters of this box here so in this page we can see the dimension for this box we have 105 and 23 for the height okay so we come back to this model and here we change these dimensions and next what to do is to set the placement of this box here so as a plane we'll select this xy plane and now click ok and next select this face here and create a new sketch what you want to do in the second sketch is to create sketches for these pockets here okay so here we have this dimension 45 and 5 and we have this 8 here so we come back to this model and we go to sketch geometry here select this rectangle tool click in this vertical line and draw this rectangle and now draw another sketch no another rectangle and now select this equal constraint make this line here and this line equal and these two lines here okay and now select this horizontal constraint and constrain these two points okay and next we'll give dimension for this sketch so we select this vertical distance tool select this line here and set five millimeters and now select this origin point and this end point and here we'll set 23 minus 5 okay and next we select this horizontal distance tool select this point and this point here and set 45 and the length of this line here will set Okay, so now this sketch is full constrained so we close this sketch and next we select this pocket tool and here we change the type to throw goal and click ok and now we go to additive filters again and we select this additive cylinder and and now let's see the dimension for the cylinder so here we have we have a range of 35 and and we have this link here so here we come back to this model and we change this range to 35 and the height here will be okay will be 180 minus 23 and click okay okay and the next step is to set placement of the cylinder so you will select as reference this space here and select this option here inertial cs and now click ok okay and next we create a new sketch okay this sketch in axi plane okay 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 so close this sketch here and go to model go to this box here double click and what to do here is to center this box to the region point so here we'll set we'll set these dimensions here okay set minus and so click ok and now go to the sketch here double click and now we can see that this part here is in this center point so now we select this slot tool here and click in this horizontal line and 
so click in this vertical line click again and now what we'll do is to give dimension for this sketch here so in this page we see these dimensions here we have we have this dimension and this dimension and we have these the dimension for these fillets we have eight here so we come back to this model and first here we select this at external geometry tool we select this edge here and next this vertical distance tool select this point and this point and we set this dimension and here we set okay and now select this constraint here and set the range of this arc to 8 millimeters and now close the sketch and go to this path tool check symmetric to plane and the value for this path here will be 7.5 so we change here and click ok and next we create a new sketch in XZ plane so select this plane here and now switch to section view and select this line tool click in this vertical line and draw this line here okay and in this page we see these dimensions here okay we have 75 between these line here to this end point and we have 54 so here we select this vertical distance tool select this center point no this origin point and now this end point and here we'll set 74 is that okay here is 75 and now we select this horizontal distance tool select this point and this point and set 54 okay and now we have this angle here so we come back to this sketch and select this constraint here select this vertical line and now this line and here we'll set 55 okay but we have this problem so what to do here is to put this formula okay so now is correct okay so close this sketch and next create a new sketch can be in yz plane switch to section view and here select Go to sketch geometers and select this rounded rectangle tool draw this rectangle and now select this smart constraint and constrain these two center points to this origin point and okay in this page we see these dimensions here we, we see here this dimension okay and we see this diameter for this wall here so okay here we'll set we'll set the range of this arc here to eight millimeters and next we select this equal constraint and make these two lines equal okay and now we select this vertical distance tool select this line here and here we'll set okay so now leave this sketch and go to model and here select this sketch and click on mouse and go to attachment editor and here we will click in this button here and select the sketch okay and we can hide this okay click in this button again and select this sketch here and now click ok and select this sketch again and go to this additive pipe tool and click in this object button and now select this sketch click ok and now the next thing to do is to okay we go to this pad here click in this arrow select this sketch and click on mouse and go to copy option 
and here we select only the sketch click ok and now click in this icon to pass the sketch space bar to make this sketch visible and now drag the sketch into this body now double click in this sketch and switch to section view what we'll do in this sketch here is to change the radius of this of this slot here so we'll change to a radius of four millimeters so double click in this dimension and we set four and now leave this sketch and go to this pocket tool okay here will set through goal and check this option smart to plane and now click ok and next select this face here and create another sketch create a new sketch select this external geometry tool extract this edge and these two edges and now select the cycle tool and draw these four cycles okay and next here we select these four cycles and we make it equal select this constraint here and the diameter of these cycles here is eight so we select this constraint and here we set eight millimeters and now leave the sketch go to pocket tool okay the length of this pocket is 12 so we change here to this dimension and enter and and now we go to these tools here these tools here and we select this this type of cylinder and okay here we'll change the parameters of the cylinder so let's see the dimension for the cylinder so here we have a diameter of 50 and we have this length here so we come back here and we set to 25 and here we set 80 and now we select this face here as reference and next we select this option flip sides and now select this option here and click ok so now we have this pocket here okay and the next step is to do the fillets and the chamfer operations so here we'll see the, we have this fillet here with this dimension 0 0.5 so here we select this edge and we go to fillet tool we change the dimension for 0 0.5 and now we click in this add button and we add this edge here and now click ok and next you select this edge and go to fillet tool and here we see this dimension one millimeter so click ok and next select this edge here and go to chamfer tool the value for the chamfer is one millimeter okay so here we we'll Add. We'll add this edge here, this face and this face, and next this face here and this face. And now click in this add button, and we can see this. And click OK. So, okay guys, what can I say is that we finished the design of this model here. Thank you for watching this video.